everyone. I'm back again. Um, so on route to my treatment and I remembered I wanted to share something. Um, I was thinking about this and then it remind I was reminded by uh, Jennifer and I think Karen. Um, not that I'm sure every other people have mentioned it as well, just that we don't see what others see um, in ourselves. Um, you know, basically, well, let's just deal with physically. Um, you know, we don't notice when, or not we, let's talk about me. <laughs> Hi, it's me time. Um, I didn't see myself getting as huge as I did. And I mean, I knew that I was big and I knew that I was unhappy, but I didn't know that I had hit the numbers that I hit on the scale. And I remember at one point in uh, my life, there were some influential people around me, you know, in my life, people that you know, I wanted to um, accept me, obviously. And one of them had said, just would make comments like, oh, you're so, you know, you have such a pretty face. If, if, if only you would, uh, you know, lose some weight or, um, are you going to eat that? Or somebody else had said, um, uh, mentioned something in conversation like you couldn't even jog around the block or something like that and um, of course I did end up jogging three miles a day for five six days a week for for quite some time uh, and I'd like to be able to get back to that I just don't really feel um, it's hard for me to do that with uh, skin cancer um, and being in Florida I just I like to do it earlier in the day and it's just all slathered with sunscreen and I don't know. So I haven't found a resolution for that and doing the treadmill is not, not very encouraging. But anyways, those two things that were said just always played in my head and anytime I get compliments, I have a hard time accepting the compliment. And that's been said to me too. Why Why can't you just accept a compliment? I don't know why. <laughs> um, so anyways, what brought this up for me, these thoughts, was um, the other day when I was at Whole Foods and I was uh, getting the Mac Nuts, uh, this young girl that worked there came, you know, down the aisle and she just looked at me with this beaming smile and she said, Oh, you have such a beautiful nose. I wish I had a nose like that. And I was com in complete shock. You know, here I've just in the past three years, <laughs> you know, first had 50% of my nose removed due to cancer and then um, just recently went through more surgery because cancer came back on my nose <laughs> and um, you know I'm wearing these big glasses which kind of helps hide some of the scars and everything and uh, I'm very self-conscious about it and she says that I mean I'm still covered in scars and I was just really shocked and I stopped and I said oh my god I said you have no idea how strange that sounds to me um, you know, I, I just have, I'm all scarred. Like, I had to point out that, in, I, I guess I was like, I had to point out the, the ugliness. I don't know. I, I, I'm still trying to process this. It was just a weird situation. And I think she felt like bad and she was like, oh, I didn't mean to offend you. And I wasn't offended. I was just shocked in that moment that I would get a compliment, you know, on the one part of my body that I'm having the absolute most trouble with, you know, aside from, from weight. And, um, 
you know, I, I had th thanked her and everything. And um, it just that thinking about that, well, it, I've been thinking about it ever since. So it's been several days and then all these other thoughts throughout my life of things that people have said to me and how it affected me and then things that I say to myself or like I have a thing where I don't like light very much I don't I don't like a lot of lights on and I don't um, I don't like to look in the mirror I have a hard time looking in the mirror, and that's been forever. You know, it doesn't matter. You know, scars, no scars, whatever. Weight, no weight. I just I'm not somebody that likes to look in the mirror. I, in fact, like sometimes when I wear makeup, I put makeup on with like in by candlelight because <laughs> if I put it on in bright light, then um, I probably wouldn't leave the house. So. I'm sure that all ties in with my weight, you know, and the struggles. And, you know, now I'm on my way for treatment, and they're always, like, you know, shoving a mirror in front of my face. Even if I go to the hairdresser, they, they want to hand me the mirror, and I, I just am always like, no, no, that's okay. No, thank you. Um, you know, I don't mind glancing at myself in the mirror to see how an outfit looks or something, but... I just, I can't get too involved. I can't get up close and I just, I don't want to see it. I, I don't know what I'm in denial about. Sorry, I'm paying a toll. Those lovely tolls. Um, I don't know what it is that I'm in denial about, but I do know that I need to get down to the bottom of it because I'm sure that it's affecting me uh, across the board throughout my life. And you know, how I relate to myself, how I relate to my body, how I treat myself, and how I relate to others. And that's going to be my project for this new year, is to figure out what's making me tick. And I think I've yammered enough. I will be watching everybody. And um, commenting and I hope to be back soon. I won't be vlogging um, more than likely after treatment for several days because it's, that will not be a pretty sight. There I go again. Uh, okay, I'm pushing up. Bye.